experiments and interviews like no other in the cohort. They went out there and found out what young professionals really want. And I think they found it. Please watch the video of Spixi. I mean, I see hundreds of startups every year who come through and kind of go, oh, you know, I've got an idea, it's going to solve problems that, you know, type of person X has. You're solving problems that you guys have experienced yourselves, both personally and you have the professional experience to back that up. I think the, the Spixi team brings a great combination of skills. It's a, it's a young team who are very keen on looking at a problem, yeah. uh, and the problem is communication and, and insurance. A lot of people don't like reading lots of forms, they don't like <laughs> answering questions. Um, it can be done in a very simple way. There's somewhere north of 40 billion messages sent every day on WhatsApp. There are over 15 billion messages every day sent on Telegram. You know, you're talking about cumulatively hundreds of billions of messages every day being sent. So this is where the fish are, and you guys are fishing there, right? And that is the most effective place that you can be to reach this kind of audience of young professionals. And not only are you doing that, you're doing it in a language that they'll be able to understand. So you're not, you know, baffling them with bullshit, you're not confusing them, it's straight, it's down the line, and it's where they want to be. So I think it's a huge market with absolutely massive potential that Spixi is going after. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ronald Million, co-founder and CEO of Spixi. I spent the last six years working in the actual world of insurance. Engineer by training, I love solving problems and making things simple. Now, let's talk about a problem affecting young professionals. Young professionals represent 10 million people in the UK. They bought 50 million of insurance in 2014 in Europe. And by 2025, they will be 75% of the global workforce. Young professionals do care about protection and they do care about peace of mind. They feel lost when buying insurance. They are confused about the information displayed to them. They feel that the whole process is not transparent and certainly not engaging. So what do they do? They ask for recommendation to their friends and family. And they do it via texting on platforms like WhatsApp. Clearly, it's not enough. They deserve better. How can we solve their pain? Let me give you a hint. Right now, in the insurance industries, there are big trends. New ways of distributing insurance. Insurers are struggling to engage with digital customers and how to apply artificial intelligence to insurance. We combine all of them in the chatbot. And it's such an exciting time to build a chatbot. Two weeks ago, Microsoft entered the game, followed by Kik and Line. Two days ago, Facebook Messenger opened to businesses. Soon, you will be able to talk to your chatbot on these platforms. Meet Spixi. More than a chatbot, Spixi is an automated insurance agent. Let me show you how it works for a customer, Tom, wishing to travel. In that case, Spixi is integrated into an app. Spixi starts chatting to Tom, and Tom shares with Spixi his travel plan. As you can see, our customers don't, have, don't fill a form anymore. They're having a conversation. Now, Tom tells Pixie which type of trip 
he wishes to have, but he doesn't know when he will be back. Speaks he nudges Tom by asking a smart question and then suggests annual cover. Tom is impressed. Like other customers who tried Spixi, they say it's fast, simple, enjoyable. Let me repeat. Fast, simple, enjoyable. Can you imagine? We are not talking about driving a car. This is insurance. Yeah. <laughs> Happy with the details, Tom purchases the policy within Spixi. And Spixi makes money in the transaction. But there is even more. While Tom is away, Spixi suggests home insurance. Yes, this is cross-selling in a smart way. And while Tom is traveling, Spixi suggests location-based cover. Yes, this is upselling in a smart way. This is exactly what makes us different. Spixi brings value to the customer and to the insurers. Our journey, we started with a very strong friendship and a very bold vision. In January, we started the accelerator and we spent days out of the building talking to people and iterating. And look at where we are today. We started from the least comfortable zone for us. Mentor thought we were crazy. A technical team trying to solve a customer experience problem. And no customers trying to they say it's fast. We are just getting started. With 50 beta users registered, nine insurers interested, half of them contacting us directly, we will have completed a successful pilot by the end of the year. After that, we will scale, and we scale fast, by adding products in different countries. Our prevalent strategy includes raising awareness, creating strategic partnerships with respected insurers, and we are planning to be present on the crowdfunding platform. And looking at the numbers, it couldn't have started better. This great venture can only exist thanks to an amazing team. And I'm really proud to introduce you to my co-founder, the first Alberto, data scientist. He eats data. The second Alberto, computer scientist. He's the man who talks to the machines. Myself, engineer with actuarial background, I do love insurance. And your advisor, Chris, insurance guru, he has done it before. But we need you today. We are now raising money. The last weeks have been amazing. Some mentors told us they wanted to invest in the company. What a great feeling, big news. Another piece of good news for you, the round is still open. <laughs> we are raising 500K to develop Spixi for the next 12 months and hire key staff. So far, we have 100K committed. So if you want to be part of this successful journey, please come and talk to us. We have the right team, the right vision of making insurance simple, an amazing product, and that's the right time. This is Spixi. My name is Ronald Million, and we are all going to exit at 1 billion. That's the next step. <laughs>